A lot of people may think in this ever-changing world of e-commerce that uh, Canada Post may someday go out of business, but that's far from what is happening here at the facility in Gateway in Mississauga. major thing to overcome is the loss of our letter mail line, and we're combating that by getting more involved in our e-commerce and our electronic solutions. So we're partnering with uh, other companies to be a, a world leader in that regard. So we have e-post to address the letter mail loss, where it is a central repository for everybody's bills and that. And uh, we we sponsored that and we're, we're really off and running in that regard. The next part in terms of e-commerce is growing our parcel business. This year alone, we're up about 10, 12% in this facility and overall in, in the country. What you see behind me here is modern technology of handling mail, far different than 100 years ago when it was all being done by hand. Improvements in technology are part of what Canada Post is doing to keep ahead. Canada Post has invested a lot in our future, and by doing that, they've remained competitive. They have a new facility that's gone in place in Winnipeg. There's a new one coming online in Vancouver. In, here in Toronto, we have massive investment in the parcel technology. In this facility alone, uh, all our machines in, we can sort close to 40,000 pieces of mail per hour. So it's quite a large facility. We handle 43% of the parcel product of all of Canada right here. If Santa Claus could see this place the next couple of weeks, uh, would he be amazed at the amount of work going on? He's going to be totally amazed, but I will tell you, every parcel is going to be under everybody's tree December 24th. And with that, it's a ho-ho-ho here at Canada Post Gateway Facility in Mississauga. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Ian Robertson.